So hi everybody, Craig Hansen here from CraigHansenGolf.com. Check out the website, there's plenty of free info and you can get online lessons. I'm working with people from all around the world and uh, you can check out some of the pros I'm working with. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the site if you get on there. I'd like to show you guys um, you know, a backswing position that I would highly recommend for, for you guys trying to flatten the plane or come from the inside. Uh, there's definitely certain corridors and parameters involved in it and um, I you know looking at a lot of the people that I've taught and seen around the world and teach everywhere you're probably estimating around 70 or 80 percent of people that are coming down too steep and um, coming from the outside so you know there's a lot of talk about backswings not being important well there really is uh, in, in my experience there's certain backswings positions that make it easier for, for people that come down too steep. Uh, these Both of these positions are that, or for people that come from the outside, and they help prevent certain moves. And there are certain backswing positions, you know, that, uh, that don't make it easy to come from the inside. So let's go through a few. We've got uh, Westwood and Justin Rose, a couple of the best ball strikers in the world. And look, we see, we see a similar position, don't we? We see the, we see the shaft up the top. Um, around the 80 degree area and, and in the left arm in the low 40 degrees or high 30 degrees you know so is it you know is that is that a coincidence you know well we've got similar shoulder planes we see the left arm lower than the, the original shoulder plane we see that the right elbow is nearly touching the original shaft plane now the goal swings are patterns Depending on your pattern, you know, if you have a pattern to flatten the plane too much coming down, you know, there's probably better positions for you. But as I said, the majority of the people out there aren't doing that. So with this, the, the advantage with this position is the right elbow, you know, would normally shave down the original shaft plane line like there. It doesn't have much to do, you know. So essentially in a golf swing, I guess we're controlling the middle point, the sweet spot of the golf club. and the quicker it gets onto the lines, the easier it is to control. You know, the probably the less talent that we have, the more on plane that we want to swing. You know, it's okay for Bubba Watson and, and, and all these guys that you know are ten times better than the normal people. But for the general person, it's you know it's good to understand your swing, your tendencies, your pattern, and match it up. I, I just see people everywhere just you know working on different sort of moves and swing that just really have nothing to do with their you know their swing pattern so there are so many guys these days swinging in this sort of shape and for you like if there's chronic chronic slices out there you guys can you guys can shut this face down a little bit and um, you know once you doesn't have to be exact but the, as I said there's certain there's certain corridors and there can be certain parameters you might have to you might have the club up in the in the 60 or even the 70 degree area as opposed to the 80 but it's it's definitely a position to look for 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 people that you know have a trouble sort of steepening the plane on the way down because it it really does sort of help with that elbow in there with the club pointing the grip pointing down into this area here helps to helps to flatten that plane very very quickly now the opposite of that would be probably something like this where when when you get to the top the left arm and the shaft are all in one sort of line like that now if you can imagine if that's a wall here straight up over the ball at 90 degrees all right, and the ball's under that. You can see that the the grip is now pointing into the wall. All right, so most people, depending on your talent level, will have follow that line down because generally where your grip end points, you come down, and then would go onto the outside because everything on the right side of the ball here is from the outside. But you know, certain players like you know Sergio with the you know right wrist and right forearm and the other traits and characteristics that he has he's able to flatten the plane so you probably you know as a looking at the swing as a pattern if he had the same shape as Justin Rose there'd probably be a very big chance that Sergio would come down underneath the plane but this pattern works for him 
So for you guys out there, I hope uh, I hope you're working on the right things. And uh, there's all different characteristics and traits and, and there's different ways to go about doing it, but it's about playing your golf, your best golf. It's about your swing and not the swing. So check out the website, get on the online lessons, it's a simple system, you know, send us something through and, and uh, you know, I can pretty much guarantee I can I can help you out. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll we'll see you next time.